Okay, this is on the soapstone hoardings job, number 53365. It's in the rain building. Um, installed on 1213 by Stetson. So we are just replacing this furnace um, with a two-stage 90% furnace. Um, so if you walk in the front door, come down the hallway. It's just this first one in the attic here. So these are filter grills, so we're not going to put a filter box in there, but we're just removing the furnace. We're going to leave this duct here and the coil. So to get this out, um, you're probably going to have to take this sprinkler line, um, tile out and turn the sprinkler line, you know, this way. And then I would unscrew the bottom of the furnace and maybe just cut the end of the furnace off with the high lift under it and remove the, you know, take down the unistrut angles. Um, and put the new one up, raise it up. The new one's going to be shorter, so it'll be easier to get up. Um, you will have to obviously poke these return airs up and move them out of the way. Um, and you know, deal with this um, ceiling grid. Okay, so on the new furnace, you're going to, so before that, so you have just a cut line right here. Um, you're going to bend these flanges in. And then cut line just at the coil, the other end of the furnace. So. Um, so when you put this new one in, we need cross braces going this way under our furnace. So we're going to put, um, extensions on here, couplings, three inch couplings, and lower it down inch and three quarter so we can get unistrut long ways. And then we're gonna hang a pan underneath everything when we're done. So, um, that being said, the ductwork, we have our furnace, I have just a little two inch piece. Um, this is OCP and slip slip. So it's gonna be tight. And then this fitting to your coil, I'll make a lap fitting. Um, but we have no canvas, we have no room for a canvas. Um, on this piece of duct, there's a piece of duct coming off the back, so I didn't really wanna redo that. Um, but the duct does end right there, so you may have some wiggle room with it um, when you get it all unhooked, but probably not much because you have a spiral coming up the back. I'll just show you that. Yeah, that spiral is coming up the back of that first piece. Okay. Um, in the drain pan, put in, well, I'll go over that in a minute. Okay, combustion air is okay. Vent, you're going to tie into the existing three inch PVC flues. The AC, um, just leave as is. Make sure the coil is clean. Get in there and if it's not um, clean, clean it. I'm gonna put a bottle of coil cleaner on your, on the list. Um, if you need it, use it. If you don't need it, just keep it on your truck. 
credit back, but just keep it on your truck. Um, because we have been having issues with some dirty coils. That's some follow-ups. Um, so the gas, we're going to just re remove the flex and this gas line kind of hangs down a little bit. So you can probably pull it up once you cut the flues, pull it up and level it. But from there, add a two inch, um, a T with a two inch drip leg and uh, then flex up the top and through the furnace. The drain is going to just go to tie into the existing. Um, you have uh, this um, overflow safety switch. You can see they've siliconed the end of it and put a cap on that end of it. So I'm ordering a new one. So just replace that overflow safety switch with the new one. Whoops. <laughs> Thanks. Um, thermostat is right there. We are just going to reuse the existing thermostat. Um, you need to set it up for two stage though. I believe that's the stage. Is that the stat for this furnace? Do you know? I, uh, well, no. Anyway, I think it's that stat. Um, you do have enough wires in there to wire it up correctly. When you wire it up, um, Make sure you set the stat up for two stage in the settings. Okay, the power, just reuse the existing. The existing power switch is actually over there. So yeah, just reuse the existing. Oh my gosh. Um, so change those two filters in the filter grill with 20 by 20 filters and make sure you bring a high lift. I was thinking if you find it easier, if you find it easier to bring the furnace up in this ceiling, that's also an option and then push it over those three. Um, okay. All right. So, sir, the thermostats that run this uh -huh. are this in this office here. Okay. In the conference room. Oh, right zones here behind the door. Okay. And this room, right there. Okay. Those, All right. Those three. Go to that. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, so change of plan on the thermostats. Um, it's zoned. So, um, okay. So they do have a zone panel, it looks okay. like right there. The old Gunther kind. Um, so you'll have to just set the dip switch on the furnace to single stage stat and have it run on the timer, it looks like. Okay. And that's it. Thanks.